Hey, 42 here. Today's video is brought to you by the fantastic The Great Courses Plus. Learn more at the end of the video. Did you know there are an estimated 40 billion planets in the Milky Way galaxy that could support alien life? That means for every one in five stars, there is an Earth-like planet currently in orbit, with the nearest being only 12 light years away from us. In space terms, that's essentially around the corner. Therefore, it is possible that far closer than you'd think, on another world very similar to ours, is another life form very similar to you, watching a video very similar to this one. And right now, it is hitting the subscribe button. Our universe is home to an incredible array of planets, some of which may astonish you. Planets are formed when dense disks of gas and dust start encircling young stars, when this happens, the gas and dust slowly accumulate, and through the process known as accretion, a brand new planet is formed, with its own peculiarities, bizarre qualities, and sometimes horrors. Many of these planets have features we can relate to, and are similar to those in our own solar system, that we can observe using low-tech telescopes, but others are so strange that they boggle the mind. For example, there is Hat P1b, a planet so bizarre, it threatens to change the way we think about planet formation. Puffed up by heat seeping into the planet's interior, this so-called puffy planet is almost half the size of Jupiter, but has a density lighter than cork, which quite literally means it could float in water if we had a large enough swimming pool to dunk it into. Or consider J1407b, a planet with so many circumplanetary rings that they have an outer radius of 90 million kilometers, 640 times that of Saturn. In other words, it's Saturn, but on cocaine. Or finally, there is GUPSCB, a planet with an orbit of 80,000 years leaving you with a fair wait for your birthday. But those are just some of the strange planets. What about the frightening ones? The ones that make us look up at the stars and feel an unsettling, ominous sensation? The ones so dangerous and so creepy, you would never ever want to encounter them, as doing so would spell certain death. Well, to begin with, what if I were to tell you that there are some worlds that are quite literally the living dead. Orbiting the star PSR B1257 plus 12, unsettlingly known as Lich, are three exoplanets, which are planets outside our solar system. These zombie worlds, individually known as Poltergeist, Draugr, and Phobator, exist in one of the most uninhabitable, terrifying corners of the universe. And the reason for that is quite simple. Lich, their star, is a pulsar. An undead star that constantly leaks horrifying quantities of electromagnetic radiation from its core. Such stars are even thought to be the possible source of ultra high energy cosmic rays. This constant bombardment of radiation from the undead star's core saturates each of its orbiting zombie planets, meaning that if you were to step foot on any one of them, you would essentially be microwaved alive. But if you think that's bad, there is a planet where your death would be so violent, it gives a whole new meaning to the Chinese torture Ling Chi, otherwise known as death by a thousand cuts. The extrasolar planet, HD 189733b is beset by winds so frightening they are difficult to even comprehend. At 5,400 miles per hour, these winds blow across the entire planet at seven times the speed of sound and over 30 times faster than Hurricane Katrina. But before you think your death would come at the hands of being blown into something solid and spiky at such speeds, the winds alone would not cause your death you would meet your end when they combine with something much, much worse. With silicate-rich clouds teeming in the skies and a close proximity to its host star, this planet rains a lot. And when it does, it rains 
Molten Glass. Blown by the Mach 7 winds, this molten glass rains sideways and would rip your body to shreds in a hail of razor blades. Similar, and perhaps more frightening, is the exoplanet Ogle TR56b, the planet that rains molten iron. The most distant planet in the Sagittarius constellation, Ogle TR56, is theorised to have clouds made not from water, but from iron atoms. So whilst being torn to shreds by molten glass might disturb you, just imagine being encased in a downpour of molten iron, sealing you in a distorted Pompeii-like statue for all eternity. But there's more. What if I was to tell you that there's an exoplanet that is basically a living hell? Called Kepler-70b, it is a planet that actually spent time inside a star. Now, whilst that might sound like every teenage boy's dream, it's far more like a horror movie than you'd imagine. Kepler-70b was plunged into the star's envelope, which is a part of every star not gravitationally bound to the star's core and formed by dense stellar wind. As this was during the star's red giant phase, the dying phase when the star is at its largest but with a cooler surface temperature, Kepler-70b survived. But it was left with one deadly attribute. It is now almost 7,000 degrees Celsius on the surface. In other words, it's a burning inferno that is hotter than the surface of the sun. It would quite literally burn you and everyone around you to ash in seconds. But not all terrifying planets are little known worlds thousands of light years from Earth. Some are much closer to home than you'd expect. Take Jupiter, for example. A planet which, as you'll soon learn, belongs in a cheesy disaster movie because it has dozens of incredible ways it can kill you. Made of hydrogen and helium, trying to land on Jupiter is like trying to land on a cloud or mist, as it doesn't actually have an outer crust, it's just gas all the way through. But if, for the sake of argument, you did attempt to land on it, you would encounter a number of blood-curdling problems. Your first issue would naturally be the lack of oxygen, which would starve your lungs, causing a slow fish-out-of-water death as you agonisingly gasp for breath. But 155 miles down would be where your real problems would begin. Rotating faster than any other planet in our solar system, with a day lasting only 9.5 hours, Jupiter is home to a hurricane twice the size of Earth, with 270 mile per hour storm speeds that's constantly spinning and has, so far, lasted for 340 years. Sounds bad? Well, if you manage to survive that, you would be cut off from the outside world, because Jupiter's enormous, all-consuming atmosphere would absorb all radio waves and distress signals calling for help. But I wouldn't worry, because you'd soon be disintegrated by its 3,371 degree Celsius temperature. So hot it could melt the metal with the highest melting point in the universe, tungsten. And all this before you even made it halfway through the planet. But even closer to home is another planet potentially even more horrifying. Venus, commonly thought of as Earth's closest neighbour, although scientists now think that could actually be Mercury, is similar in many ways, but even more dissimilar and disturbing in many others. Covered in rolling dunes and mountains, Venus is also home to gigantic swarms of old lava flows, but these wouldn't be the main source of your problems. You see, the atmosphere on Venus is so thick, so poisonous and so hot, it would kill you in three different ways at the same time. Hot enough to melt lead, you would burn alive. Pressure so great you would be immediately crushed, and an atmosphere so toxic it not only smells like rotten eggs, it would have you breathing huge quantities of carbon dioxide. And you would even be exposed to sulfuric acid that rains down in the upper atmosphere, melting your skin off your bones. But Perhaps even more chilling is that Venus is theorised to have been habitable as recently 
as one billion years ago. Although the planet has since been devastated by a runaway greenhouse effect. So who knows what secrets or life may lurk beneath its sand. Speaking of secrets, there is a planet that exists that is almost as old as the universe itself. At 13 billion years old and formed 1 billion years after the universe began, the Genesis planet, otherwise known as PSR B162026b or Methuselah, is three times older than Earth. This ancient world exists in a strange and unlikely part of the universe, orbiting two burned out stars within a densely clustered core of a globular star cluster. Formed so quickly after the Big Bang and thriving in such a busy region of space, this ancient and mysterious planet has been witness to a history that we cannot possibly imagine. What has it seen and who or what may have visited it? But the most mysterious and creepy worlds aren't necessarily the most ancient. There is another planet known to be in our solar system that has never been seen by man. I am speaking, of course, about the eerily named Planet X, arguably the most elusive invisible planet in the universe because it's in our solar system, yet we can't see it. Deep beyond Pluto, it has been theorized by many astronomers that there is an enormous planet that traces a bizarre orbit in the outer reaches of our solar system Whilst no direct observation of the planet has been made, detailed computer simulations and mathematical models all point to its existence. All that's known is that it's in the Kuiper Belt. Where the planet is suspected to be, dwarf planets and smaller debris and objects are clustering together, following something much, much larger. Like Remora swimming under the belly of an enormous shark. But the most unique, dangerous, and deadly planet in the universe. It's not where you'd expect. What if I were to tell you that there is a planet where the atmosphere is continually pumped with poisonous gas, where we know more about the surrounding planets in its solar system than we know the secrets of its oceans, and where the species of life on its surface greedily consume each other with the most dominant of all slaughtering its own kind in droves. It's a planet where you can be murdered, shot, stabbed, enslaved, tortured, starved, suffocated, burned, eaten alive, frozen, ravaged by disease or infection or coronavirus, and all in all, killed in more varied, evil and horrifying and excruciating ways than anywhere else in the entire known universe. And you're living on that planet right now. So next time you look up into the stars and start feeling an unsettling, ominous feeling, remember, you're no safer here on Earth. Thanks for watching. But one way you can forget about the dangers of the world is by indulging in the comfort of learning from your own home with the Great Courses Plus, who have kindly sponsored today's video. I really do love the Great Courses Plus. I have used it for years to enrich my knowledge on all the topics I bring you on this channel. I sit down to enjoy a lecture or two every single day in between writing. I've almost finished the fascinating course, The Foundations of Western Civilization. I've long been interested in ancient Greek, Roman and British history, but this course takes you through the tapestry of our time from ancient Sumer to the British Empire and links these great civilizations together in a way that you've probably never been aware of. It is taught by one of the most candid and learned professors I have ever had the joys of watching, Thomas FX Noble. The Great Courses Plus is a subscription on-demand video learning service with top-notch lectures and courses from top professors from the Ivy League and other great universities globally. And experts from places like National Geographic, the Smithsonian and the Culinary Institute of America. Through your subscription, you get access to a huge library of over 11,000 video lectures about anything that interests you. Science, maths, history, literature, or even how to cook, play chess, or become a better photographer. Right now, The Great Courses Plus is giving my viewers a great offer of a free trial. 
You can show your support for my channel by clicking on the link in the description below to start your free trial today. Thank you.